So today we're going to learn about the product rule when we're dealing with exponents. So when we're multiplying exponents with the same base, we add the exponents together. So in this case, we have a, which is just 1a, I drew down here, a squared, that's a times a, which is in green, and then a cubed, or a to the third power, is in red. So when I'm looking at these terms, all together, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six a's, which I would write as a to the sixth power. Now, there's a shortcut, so you don't have to write it out like this every time, especially when we get a lot of bigger exponents. So if we only have an a, we see that it's just one a, so I can add a little one here. And then what I can do is add the exponents together. So one plus two plus three to tell me what my exponent should be, which again is six. So instead of having to do all of this every time, we can just add the sum of our exponents together as long as they have the same base and find what the new exponent is going to be. Now let's look at this one here. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did in the first one. We've got x squared, x, and x to the 10th power. I'm going to go ahead and put a little 1 above this x, since that's what the exponent is. And then I'm going to write the x's out just like I did with the a's right here. All right, so our x squared, we've got two x's down here, x to the first power, and then all of this is x to the 10th power, which takes a long time to write out. That's why we're gonna use our shortcut for adding the exponents in order to figure out what our new exponent's going to be. So I've got two plus one plus 10, which is also what I have down here. Two plus one plus 10 when I'm trying to find out how many x's there are. So I know two plus one is three, 3 plus 10 is 13, so my exponent's going to be 13. X is my base, because that's what we're multiplying over and over again. And then 13 is the exponent, so this would be your simplified version. Now let's go ahead and come over here to this one with the M's. So we've got a 2 out front. That 2 is just going to stay. We're not going to do anything with it, so it's going to be 2 and then our exponents are 2 plus 3, so we're going to have m to the fifth power, and this is your simplified version.